With Pokemon Scarlet and Violet coming out, I decided that I wanted to shiny hunt in that game, but also I wanted to find out how easy it was comparatively to the other games that have come out on the Switch, namely Legends Arceus and Pokemon Let's Go. So I took all three games and I shiny hunted one Pokemon in each of those games to see how quickly I could get one here. This is how it went. We're going to start with the most recent of Pokemon and Violet. There are different ways of catching Pokemon and different methods for shiny hunting in each of these games, and we're going to have to show them all off and see how it goes all right as soon as i hit that a button we're starting it didn't start oh god never mind oh god all right abort abort attempt to attempt to <laughs> there we go okay <laughs> we're gonna just quickly pop a sandwich in a random location let's see uh ice i'm gonna make it specific i'm gonna try to go for a shiny that i don't have no outbreaks here so normally in scarlet and violet you can use the outbreaks to give yourself boosted odds however all of my outbreaks that i have are all nighttime spawns right now i have a ghastly a venomoth and i have a mischievous so i need to quickly figure out something else to do and also i need to be on a flat surface in order to actually pop this picnic up maybe like by this tree here maybe this will be flat enough yeah this will be flat enough okay what do you mean there's not enough space why did i choose the ice area there we go all right so if you don't know how to shiny hunt in this game we use sandwiches and each sandwich requires cucumber pickle two different herbs and then a specific item to determine the type ice type sandwiches are claw sticks now we have to be careful to also not lose any of the ingredients if they fall off it could possibly ruin the boosted odds and then you can eat the top bun you don't need that all right sandwich done all right did my character just dab there i think i just dabbed after i finished my sandwich all right now we're just gonna run around here and look for any ice type shiny preferably the ones that i need here are gonna be cub chew bergmite sneasel bear tick and delibury those would be my new ones my ones that i don't have a dupe for oh and i know there's snow run is also needed so there's quite a couple options the good thing about coming up here and just kind of popping a sandwich whenever is i have so many different pokemon to spawn in now the problem with scarlet and violet you don't play an audio sound when you're looking for a shiny so i could very well possibly foreshadow myself right now drive past a shiny and just not realize it's shiny so let's see how this goes my favorite pokemon i am a big chikorita girl i absolutely love chikorita otherwise other favorites are politoed heracross espion umbreon sylveon but chikorita is my baby ice skew as a recent one is also up there but if you're a pokemon that is just like the definition of head empty no thoughts and you're just like a happy little guy i probably like them you know the totodiles the polytoads the ludicolo they just fit the bill of like always gonna be happy and you can't help but smile when you see them watch i decide to do this challenge today and it's one of those days where i just have terrible shiny luck in the very first game that i do <laughs> it would be fitting it would also be hilarious me like oh we'll probably have time to do a couple attempts at this also me sitting here for two hours in the first game come on we still got four minutes on the sandwich she the ice types are not treating me kindly here so if you don't get a shiny during your sandwich, what you do is you always are saved right when you start the sandwich. And then you restart it so that you don't lose the ingredients. So right now I am hoping that I don't have to restart it, but we'll see how it goes. Looks like we're not gonna have anything on this sandwich here. As soon as we start to see non-ice type, that's when you know the sandwich is done. There it is, non-ice type. All right, now we restart the game and we try again. So, because it's nighttime in my game, for a little bit, I can try and maybe do one of my outbreaks. We're gonna go to this Venomoth outbreak because we're already a part way through the nighttime and Venomoth are only a nighttime spawn. What's gonna happen here is that I am going to quickly pop the sandwich I know it's not as efficient, but I want to boost my odds to the best of my ability while doing the outbreak while it's still nighttime. Quickly picnic. Cherry tomatoes are the hardest thing to picnic with, unfortunately, in this game. And in order to make the bug sandwich, you have to specifically use cherry tomatoes. These things are like impossible to stack with. So there's a high chance that I just mess up the sandwich entirely. That one stuck the landing. It stuck the landing. That one did not stick the landing. Oh, God. Neither did that one. Oh, God. Um, 
This is the fear of the cherry tomatoes. We're gonna have to see if we'll be okay here. Sometimes it's okay if you lose an ingredient. Likely what'll happen is, is that it'll matter and I will get like teensy power instead of encounter power, which in reality, if I'm doing an outbreak, it's not as bad, but I don't have the increased odds of encounters. Yeah, see, teensy power. You know what? Let's just roll with it. I know it's risky. I feel like it's already getting close to daytime in the game. And as soon as it becomes daytime in the game, I'm going to have to restart my game again and go for something different. I didn't realize how close to the day it already was. Oh, God. Maybe it's a good thing that I failed that sandwich. I think that was literally it. I'm not going to lie. All right, it's already daytime in game. No more spawning in. All right, quickly restart. Got to find figure out something else after I mess that up. All right, what do I want to go for here? Quickly, uh, think of something. Okay, idea. Okay, right here. We're going to go here and I'm going to look for Litlia. That was the first thought that came to my mind. You know what? Actually, change the plan. No, 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 no. I changed my mind. This is going to be a throwback here. Stantler was the first shiny that I got in Legends Arceus. We're doing a, a tofu sandwich for Stantler. Yeah, a good amount of Stantler here. This might be the Stantler spot. This like circle here. If I just do laps here. Chat, I need you to give me your shiny energy. We've been going at this for almost an hour with no shiny. Give me your energy. I'll even take the young goose. Wait, wait, wait. There it is, there it is, shiny. Okay, we got one. We got a shiny. Shiny Litleo, just under an hour that took. All right, I know it's suboptimal to leave early on a sandwich, but I gotta do it for the sake of the challenge. All right, next game. We're jumping into Legends Arceus. All right, so Legends Arceus was the game that I started shiny hunting in. I got every single Pokemon except for the last 10. And we're gonna leave the area. Oh, I have to report survey results, crap. All right, mass outbreaks, we're going here. All right, there's a bunch of Pokemon outbreaks that will spawn in. And you'll look at your map, which if I can remember how to how to open the map here. So there's all these different locations here. And you go and you try to capture Pokemon. And then you just catch everything here. Oh, you know what? Let me save real quick. Because I didn't save before I came here. So I'm going to mess this up. I'm already forgetting how to... All, I, I'm forgetting all the buttons here. Okay. I know this is not the optimal place to save, but it's fine. I'll make it work. Okay. All right, so you just try to catch all the Pokemon here. Oh my God, there's no way. <laughs> Legends Arceus is the best game to Shiny Hudson. <laughs> oh my God, we're done. All right, on to the next game. <laughs> So we're going to go into Viridian Forest here and we're going to shiny hunt. How you have to shiny hunt in this game is you have to sort of catch combo. Let me just head up to like a well-filled area. All right, right here is a good spot. All right, bag. You need to use your lures. These lures boost the spawn rate of Pokemon. And then you just got to start catching. So let's do Weedle. So we're starting a catch combo here. This one is the longest one because of the prep for it. And if a Pokemon runs away from you, then you lose your catch combo. So you have to maintain it so you want to get a 30 catch combo or no you want to get the 31 of a catch combo so you see catch combo too i hate that i can get an excellent throw and this pokemon still pops out of the ball i'm gonna have to start using like great balls or ultra balls just to pull this off oh hang on let's just let's just start it now uh i have no great balls i have a bunch of premier balls i'm gonna have to go buy some balls oh god chat i don't have the money for it <laughs> Well, time to hope for the best here. If it does the attack animation while the circle is still there, it'll run away guaranteed. So you want to make sure that you are running from it then. I'm sorry. Where did that go? Once it gets to plus 10, the odds of a shiny spawning in are heightened. Oh God, the Caterpie are leveling up. Um, no, don't evolve. Don't evolve. Stop Caterpie. Bad. Okay. <laughs> the Caterpie are gaining experience, chat. All right, I'm gonna forego the time loss here. Uh, you're going to the box. Good for my arm strength. I don't know if this game is really good for my arm strength. I'm literally just going like, eh, eh. Now the only Pokemon that's in my party is my starter, Eevee. So all the Weedle are fine. We're just trying to establish the catch combo here. Well, oh, these ones will. Yes, the ones that I start catching will. You're right. Oh, oh, they are gaining a lot of experience here. Okay, maybe this was not the right decision. I'm just gonna let it evolve. It's definitely gonna be faster than over time. Okay, all of these things are done evolving. So now I don't have to deal with them anymore. Oh, never mind. There's one more. <laughs> yeah, I, I think Pokemon Go has a lot of issues. And I will 100% agree with that. It's, it's far from a perfect game. I think it revolutionized a lot of ways that we see gaming and 
I threw two balls at it. Well, that resets the catch combo, chat. Okay, let's head into Viridian Forest here. If a Weedle spawns, I can catch that. That's a Caterpie. I guess we're gonna do Caterpie here. All right, let's just start it. I didn't even see that Pokemon there. It was a Caterpie, good. I always think it's two different regions, but you know what's funny is that the two foreign dittos that I got in Scarlet were both French. Normally I get like a Japanese ditto. The French coming in clutch with me can be from any region. Yeah, I guess in my head, I just in my head canon, I just always consider um Japan as like the region that I would get all of my trades from. Alright, we're back up to where we were before that Weedle ran away from me. Okay. This is the last Caterpie that we need, and then we'll be at 31. Perfect. It took a while, but we got there. Just gotta take a look at all these spawns right now. What's up there? That's a Weedle. What's a Weedle? Okay, so we're back to the entrance. So we're just gonna walk in and out of the door and refresh the spawns this way. We'll check everything around me. All right, none of these look shiny. So then and we just leave and keep resetting this way. Okay, I like that. This is good. This is good. I remember not having the best luck back when I was shiny hunting for a couple of Pokemon in this game. One of my like oldest clips that I still have on this channel was I remember I was looking for a shiny Ponyta because I really liked the way the shiny Ponyta looks. And that's like, you know, a good shiny for sure. And then as I was hunting for it, I shiny Chansey spawned instead. And I was losing my mind over the Chansey. Can this like, whatever's back there. I can't tell if you're shiny or not. Just gonna walk into it. Okay, I could not see because the thing was just stuck behind the sign. <laughs> Imagine if he was, honestly, I would have just been like, yeah. Yeah, that's th that checks out. Just that little guy hiding behind the sign. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, hey, there it is. I saw it in the corner of my eye. I was like, wait, I see them sparkles. I see them sparkles. Catch it and then we can stop the time here. Let's go. So that took two hours and two minutes to get three shinies in three different Pokemon games. 202, not bad, not bad. What did we learn? Shiny hunting is still somewhat difficult, more than I thought it was going to be, but I was able to catch a shiny in each of these games. Now, I wasn't somebody who ever got into shiny hunting and, you know, heart gold, soul silver, any of those traditional ones that people take days or weeks going for the same Pokemon. But in these games, they are super accessible and are super good at being able to give you the shiny. Now, if only Pokemon Violet had the audio cue, then it'd be perfect. But I very much enjoyed this little challenge.